you always have a React project that you want to host somewhere and you don't know how to do or you don't want to pay, this video is for you because you will see how to host your React app for free and in a few steps you don't even have to build your React project just to connect your GitHub and it's done. So let's get started and see you. Okay, so we go on Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is one of the most famous websites. It's really useful to protect your website with uh, attacks like DNS attack or many kind of attacks. But it's also useful because it's a DNS. So it means that you can put static files on this website. So here we go. Um, when you go on the website, you will probably have to uh, sign up. So to sign up, it's really easy. But I'm already um, sign up so I just have to go on the website when you're here you do add a website um, no it's not this one it's uh, actually if you go on page so this is the page that is interesting because here you do can do create a project and deploy your site in three easy steps you can see that react is supported so all you want to do is connect to git so in this case connect to git connect github is my github benjamin configure uh, it will ask for webs for a password okay which one do you want i don't want a lot of uh, repository if you want you can give access to every repository but i just want to give access to this one so secret center uh, it's already done so actually yeah it's already done um Yeah, so save. In this case, um, we arrive here. All we have to do, uh, we connected the GitHub account. We selected the repository, so we can start. So it will ask for which branch. So I only have main. It will ask for uh, which framework. Um, so create create act app. If you don't do this, if you create none, you will have to put your correct command. But because I use create react app, it knows that for build it's npm run build. Uh, it knows that the output it will be in this folder. Um, you can have extra um, parameters, but I don't use it. So maybe you don't use it too. Project already exists. Okay, because I already already did this for this project uh, let me just uh, my repository wait so i will do again this one using another repository um, it says it's already here but i want to configure so which one i want it's uh, this one as you can see here okay and then is working here uh, easy colliding perfect setup main using create react app save and deploy it, it is just one click to deploy and when you do that you just have to wait now because it will build and uh, Actually, yeah, because I also want to. So now like, all the build finished, so after one minute, as you can see, all the details, and it was completed. So if I continue, what happens? Uh, as you can see also, I just made a new push. So can you see it? If I visit the website, here you can see that it doesn't work. Uh, why it doesn't work? Uh, uh, okay, because I put the um, I put the wrong. Uh, 
So now I corrected the issue because it was the wrong URL. So if I put this uh, fix cloud fair and I will push it, push, uh, if I go back here, configure, oh, it's cloud fair, it is save and uh, it should be good because when I go here it is in progress okay so we had another issue it was in public URL and here so we will push it fix to commit push and when we go on the website so here we have a new grid okay so finally it just finished and um, when we try to see so either like the deployment just for this one we can see that it is working and this one it was not working so it's good if you want to see the difference and like the final one like with the last deploy it's here okay so we just finished to deploy a react application to cloudflare and we did this for free so you can really do this for any project that you have and when you want to showcase your project so it's really convenient uh, i hope you liked it and if it was useful please put a like and subscribe and see you in the next episode thanks